after you cool them, you're gonna have um, residue here. Before I oil them up, I just take a dry sponge. I'm gonna get all that off. Oil up the bed block mold. Just using motor oil and a sponge. I'm gonna coat the whole inside. It's okay to have big puddles because we're gonna take the water hose and spray out the excess. You wanna put your water hose in the shower mode. And we're just gonna spray and get the big puddles out. Okay, this is how we mix up the concrete. Um, easiest way to do it, it's a low speed drill with a paddle bit mixing on the end of it. Uh, Harbor Freight, best place to get in. A 60 pound bag of concrete in a five gallon bucket with about a quarter in the bottom of water. too thick either. This is how we pour the bed block mold. I've already got it oiled up and sprayed out with water. We want to grab it from the block corner here and the block corner here. You don't want to be grabbing it from the thin part here putting stress on the mold. Taking it to level it out and get the air bubbles out and that's it if you find your table is unlevel it's important to pour it level if it's unlevel it's going to be thin on one side and thicker on the other if you run across that case just get some wood shims and shim up and you can eyeball level it and that's how you pour the bed block okay this is how you pull the bed block molds it's been 24 hours since I poured concrete in this. At the five hour mark, when the concrete was setting up, you could tell by touching it and you could feel if it's set up. Usually it's about five hours, depending on the weather. Then I pulled my pipes out and they come out real easy. If you leave the pipes in the full 24 hours, you're gonna need to tap with a hammer. Use a rubber mallet, just in case you slip and hit. Tap it out, pull it with pliers. It's a little harder that way. It's a lot easier if you catch it at that five hour mark. They come out real super easy. Now, we're going to grab from here and here. We don't want to be a lot of stress on the thin sides. You're just going to pick up one end grab it from here to here and you give it a little shake and you'll feel it move drop down a little bit and then come and do the other side and it'll come out real easy now the nice thing about the ABS mold is you get this super smooth finish now this is new concrete it's real dark when it first comes out a couple days it's going to turn on a light gray color and with these ABS molds, with proper care, you can get hundreds of pools out of these. Go ahead and show you another one. That's it.